Hey, recently I've done this video which talks about the calls and I talk about how we were going to choose them by voting and we've done that. I'm currently at Barcelona for the KD Academy, largest KD conference uh, that happens every year and there has been the voting for the goals and we have the new goals which are sustainable software, automize everything and KD for all. I'm going to go through them but before that a couple of quick, you know, explanation on how the goals work they are selected in theory every couple of years in this case we actually got three because you know the pandemic didn't allow us to do enough so we previously had three goals already i was one of the goal champions which are the people that actually uh, bring forward the goals and what happens to the old goals that's a question i saw the goals that we currently have so consistency Wayland and KDE is all about the apps will continue to live because uh, as soon as a, a community actually starts working on these kind of things you'd never quite stop simply we go ahead we, pass, we go through them and we take new goals to actually address we create the infra, infrastructure infra, infrastructure for them <laughs> we also we also allocate actually some money for the goals if they need it till now they never needed it Second question that you might have, okay, when is this going to happen again? And this is actually going to happen every two years in theory, or three if we get yet another. <laughs> Let's hope not. Who voted? Uh, the KDE developers. So actually who is a KDE developer and who isn't, isn't that clear. And uh, at the end it was mostly decided by Adam, which is, okay, who is Adam? That's another good question. Adam is the coordinator for this, uh, this kind of things. He's a community manager and he actually organizes the voting and everything. So he decides all KD developers with a developer account get to vote. And if somebody is involved in KD but does not have a developer account, uh, he should uh, ask Adam and uh, he still gets to vote. How many people voted? Well, for the past previous Two times 600 people voted, this time only 400, so there is a bit of an issue there. Maybe it's something to look after in the future, making sure that not too many people lose interest in this. How does the voting work? Well, all KD developers actually choose uh, all goals from their top favorite to the least favorite. And then there is a little script which has been written by Kevin. And <laughs> well, at the beginning, it was a temporary script with, written in PHP. But since we used it every time, now it's been start <laughs> standardized. And it's a, it is the script to actually uh, read the votes and um, decide which one are selected. So which one were selected? Again, KD for um, all, which is about accessibility, automatize everything and sustainable software. Let's quickly, let's quickly go through them to see what do they bring with them. Okay, so the first one is KD for all, which is about accessibility. This goal has been proposed by Carl Schwann. Quick info about who is Carl Schwann and that is important because he's going to be the gold champion and the gold champion is the person that actually brings the gold forward. Uh, Carl joined KDE in 2018, so around when I joined too, and he has done a lot of work both on the website and also on some Kurigami application. As an example, he contributed a lot. I think he created um, Calendar, but also NeoChat and Tokodon, which are pretty big applications. He proposed the accessibility goal. This is because, well, he says we can create amazing software, but not everyone can use it. And that's an issue, which is fair enough. He talks about how uh, some things like the lack of keyboard navigation can be an issue for some people with disabilities and how we also need to improve uh, in camps like uh, special input methods, voice, braille, and also um, UI elements that need to zoom in to actually see them. So magnification, these kind of things are necessary for a good accessible software. This goal is particularly important because if you do want to, if you do want KD Plasma to be used in the corporate world or even in the public world for you know uh, states well you need to comply with some accessibility star standards that KD Plasma currently does not comply to which is a big issue so accessibility is very important so let's look at the plan that Carl Carl wrote. He talks at how we should start by looking at the state of art when using Wayland and Flatpaks as an example, how containers actually change the situation. There's particular emphasis on skin, screen readers. 
and then he talks about how we need to fix the software one by one which is surely is going to be uh, a complex thing to do that will require the effort of all people in the KDE community but also docum documentation about the best practices because to be honest many developers me included me first maybe do not quite understand everything about accessibility personally i totally need a guide that tells me how to do good uh, accessibility accessible software he also talks about blogging about it which is something that i highly highly recommend i've been a blog champ a goal champion and i think that blogging about the goals is the best thing you can do to get you know people to actually work on them and then also talks about reaching out to the communities who will benefit from this work and asking for feedback makes complete sense secondly we have the automatize everything by nate but before we get into that one quick thing that's nothing so this goal has been proposed by nate graham again he joined in 2018-2020 so similarly to me and carl and he was actually one of the a goal champion of the very first edition of the KD goals with the goal usability and productivity which you might know because he did blog posts about them the very famous this week in KD blog post were originally named this week in or not not even usability and uh, accessibility productivity sorry for KD so that's where it came from the blog series is still present which really shows how a goal never ends even if you select new ones. He also is a QA manager in the Blue Systems. I've talked about Blue Systems yesterday and he generally works on Elisa and Patron. Plasma, I meant Plasma. Regarding this goal, he actually talks about how KDE is a community where people keep on entering and on exiting. So the personal knowledge of all the people actually comes and goes. So he talks about how we should make sure that there there is uh, internal processes and systems that take that knowledge and make it available for all of the people uh, even if the original creator of those technologies went uh, outside of the community we do already have some team based workflows and documentation this is very new we recently moved to gitlab which allowed us to do many new things before that we were on fabricator which was not as awesome and he actually proposes a very long list of things so i i'm going to go through a couple of points that i think are particularly cool he talks about making a template merge request so when you create a new merge request you actually get all the information that you should supply when doing one he talks about adding a qml linter what's that qml is a programming language that's used to do the ui of plasma and many applications and a linter is a program that makes sure that the syntax is correct or should i say like pretty like done correctly i mean not that it doesn't work but that it's correctly written in the code you know you know what a linter is that make me explain he also talks about making sure that we either delete or fix all the tests that are failing and that everybody is ignoring and stuff like automatic spell checking and making sure that all strings actually ha um, are translated by out of the box we can actually automatize these kind of things then he talks about creating a document that tells you all the steps you need to do to perform Q&A on the software on KDE create and document again have an offboarding process because whenever somebody actually needs to get out of KDE for whatever reason it happens we need actually a system in place to make sure that everything he was maintaining as an example doesn't go rotten and that his knowledge more in general can be preserved within the community he talks about making sure that k user feedback actually makes sense that he is actually uh, sending more data of course with the consent of the user only if the user turns it on as it is currently but the kind of data that would actually help the visual design group to make good as the decisions on the software he also talks about improving our release toolings and something that i see him talking a lot did a lot these days because you know is actually here with me i talked to him these days and he talks about actually releasing uh, making making the release of plasma frameworks have more sense because right now i've done a video about that it is not aligned with plasma and there's a reason for that but as an effect sometimes you do have bugs that you can just not work around it also talks about in the goal to encourage apps to join the KD gear if you don't know what's the KD gear it's the release schedule for the majority of KD applications 
and also make apps adopt its version in schema so they don't have to be self-released. And then he talks about the, um, improving the developer internal process documentation, having better garden, gardening theme, having, having better QA team, these kind of things. Then there is sustainable software, which has been proposed by Cornelius. I actually don't know Cornelius and unluckily he's not at this KDE Academy, so I can't go ahead and uh, talk to him. He got into the topic, he says, uh, in the 2019 Chaos Communication Congress about how climate-friendly software is. And they talked about the sustainability criteria for resource and energy efficient software for Blue Angle or Angel, I don't know which is not blue system, different thing. So he actually went ahead and had the mission to make sure that KD software was sustainable according to Blue Angel, which nowadays is. Actually, Ocular is the first application to actually have reached that goal. And here at Academy, we, we actually had a cake with the KD logo on it to the KD Echo logo on it to, you know, have a party thanks to Ocular. This one, uh, as a goal, is the actually longest if you want to read through it you can see it here i do suggest you to give it a look he talks uh, about you know uh, the fact that our planet is at stake which is very much true so we need to find and implement more sustainable way to live and this also passes through software yes even kd is software he talks about how we have been driven by sustainable principles since our inception and how software freedom is at the core of ethical use of software giving it giving people control to take responsible decisions. As an example, KDE runs on software, sorry, on ra har sorry, sorry, on hardware that companies might have given up for years. So you have some super old computer, you can still run KDE software on it to extend its life uh, cycle. And of course that avoids more pollution. And then it talks about what the Blue Angel or Angle certification is. It's issued from the German government. All of these things are particularly interesting, so I suggest that you go to the link that is in the video description. If I didn't forget to link it, if, if I did so, sorry, tell me, I, I'll add it. And thanks everybody for watching. I hope to bring more exciting news for KD Academy.